the evolution of strategic bombers and interceptors from the historic B-17s to the groundbreaking B-2 Spirit, the Cold War competition and the birth of iconic aircraft like the Tu-95 Bear and MiG-25 Foxbat, the strategic advancements from the B-1 Lancer to the upcoming B-21 Raider, Russia's shift to stealth technology with the Tupolev PAKDA and the lightning-fast MiG-41, a never-ending game. The concept of strategic bombing emerged in World War II with the introduction of bombers like the B-17 and B-24, equipped with machine guns and substantial bomb load, targeting high-value assets. The U.S. Army Air Forces further refined this into daylight precision bombing, focusing on specific military targets to reduce civilian casualties. In 1944, the B-29 Super Fortress, equipped with extended range and nuclear capabilities, played a crucial role in ending the war through the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. At the onset of the Cold War, the East and West engaged in an intense competition to bolster their military capabilities, igniting an arm race that defined the geopolitical landscape. The relentless pursuit of greater speed and altitude by Western powers gave birth to the long-range B-36 Peacemaker and the medium-range B-47 Stratojet designed for high subsonic speeds. What came afterwards was the iconic B-52 Stratofortress Bomber, a symbol of the U.S. strong dedication to ruling the skies. The B-52, known as Big Ugly Fat Fella or Buff, has been in service for over half a century and is renowned for its significant operational range without the need for refueling, versatility, and ability to carry a wide range of payloads. In response, the Soviet Union wasted no time introducing Tu-95 Bear, a long-range turboprop-powered bomber. Despite its impressive operational range, flexibility in carrying different types of munitions, and good fuel efficiency, the maintenance was a challenge, and its engines did not provide enough thrust for high speed. In 1956, the Soviet also uncovered state-of-the-art interceptors like the Su-9 Fishbot. The Su-9 was designed to quickly climb to high altitudes, intercept and engage enemy aircraft, particularly those flying at high speeds and high altitudes, such as B-52s. In the meantime, in the United States, a groundbreaking invention was about to be introduced, the XB-70, a technological masterpiece, poised to outshine any Soviet competition. It was by far ahead of any Soviet interceptor. One of the fastest aircraft ever built, capable of reaching speeds of Mach 3, it could fly at significant higher altitudes than Su-9, and its strategic range was much longer than that of the Su-9. In the face of the intimidating challenge, the Soviets embarked on a bold project, the MiG-25 Foxbat. The path to the MiG-25 success was full of obstacles, including the adaptation of a turbojet engine originally designed for missiles. Armed with a powerful R-40 missile, this new interceptor took the world by storm when it debuted at a dramatic 1967 air show. Mass production followed at an astonishing pace. What haunted Western strategists were the MiG-25's extraordinary maneuverability, tantalizing speculations about its titanium alloy construction and its uncanny resemblance to the future U.S. interceptor, the FX. The Soviet Union enjoyed the glory of its aviation achievements, setting records and relentlessly pressuring the Pentagon for over a decade. However, in a stunning turn of events in 1976, during a routine training flight, Viktor Belenko, a Soviet pilot, landed his MiG-25 in Japan, offering an unexpected gift to the United States. This audacious defection unveiled shocking limitations of the once mighty fighter. While it was indeed a fast aircraft, it did not reach the hypersonic speeds initially implied by Soviet claims. Also, after each sortie, the engine needed a thorough maintenance before being ready to fly again. Ultimately, all this combined with the presence of the F-14 Tomcat led to the replacement of MiG-25 Foxbat in 1981 with the more advanced MiG-31 Foxhound. Simultaneously, the capability of intercontinental ballistic missiles to deliver nuclear payloads over intercontinental distances reduced the importance of a high-speed, higher-altitude bomber like the XB-70, so it never reached mass production and was overshadowed by the B-1 Lancer, which was introduced in 1986. A year later, to counter this technological advancement, the Soviets unveiled Tupolev Tu-160 Blackjack, a supersonic strategic bomber capable of carrying nuclear and conventional payloads. It was known for its unique capability of being a variable-speed wing aircraft. This capability allows the Tu-160 to adjust the sweep of its wings during flight, 
providing flexibility to optimize performance at different speeds and altitudes. The United States shifted tactics from high-speed, high-altitude missions to low-altitude and radar evasion, culminating in the development of the stealthy B-2 Spirit Bomber, which was first introduced in 1997. The U.S. later revealed the state-of-the-art strategic stealth bomber B-21, which had its first flight in November 2023. Russia is also transitioning to stealth technology with the development of the Tupolev PAKDA. This upcoming strategic bomber, scheduled for its maiden flight in 2028, is set to replace the aging Tu-95 and Tu-160 bombers in Russia's strategic aviation fleet. The PAKDA is anticipated to feature advanced stealth technology, boast long-range capabilities, and be equipped to carry various weapons, including cruise missiles. Not to lag behind, Russia is planning to bring the MiG-41 into service in 2028, which is going to be the fastest military aircraft ever built with a top speed of Mach 4. With improved speed, altitude, and range, the MiG-41 aims to outperform its predecessor, the MiG-31, offering superior performance in intercepting and countering airborne threats. In the ever-evolving saga of strategic aviation, from the historic B-17s to the cutting-edge technology of the Tupolev PAKDA and MiG-41, the skies remain a theater of constant innovation. The race for supremacy continues, marking the enduring legacy of strategic bombers and interceptors in shaping the course of military history.